Good evening, how are you? Can you hear me? Let me know guys if you can hear me. I'm not doing a lesson. If you um, if you know me and you know I normally do lessons, I'm not doing a, a lesson. I'm going to go through my course. I'm going to go through how to complete the course because people have been asking me. So if you're on the course, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. If you've got any theory questions, then please um, ask me as we go along and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, good to see you once again. Good to see you again, Ray. How, how are you? Uh, so give me some some, uh, comments guys give me some um ones put a one in the comments if you can hear me okay and i will get started in two or three minutes i'm going to go through how to go through my course uh, things are good thank you phil i'm going to go through my course how to go through it and um and then i can save that video for people to watch as well and put it onto my uh youtube channel so if you can hear me give me so hello Capancholia, how are you hello samantha how are you I, and this is not a lesson this evening um, this is a this is a live to go through my course and how you should be going through it. Hi, Neve, how are you? Thank you for that smiley face with the hearts on it. Mm. Chloe, I'm so sorry to hear that. You get there next time. Go through what you've done. Uh, what you went what went wrong and uh, you'll get there next time um, yeah I'm good thank you very much I'm going to go through my course guys I'm going to wait for a few more people to join me if you've got any questions about the theory test in particular about a particular question then let me know I don't know what to start on first on your course Louis that's what I'm going to go on now okay uh, Liam you haven't revised what can I do about that I can't do anything about that then neither can you just go and do your very best now remembering guys that this stuff is all stuff you need to know to be safe on the roads yeah you'll be a lot less nervous next time exactly exactly so any particular questions about the theory test i'm here to answer them for you um i can answer questions about the driving test as well if you want to i am a driving instructor hello kenny how are you um you passed your test but so scared practical lessons you scared of practical lessons oh no um just take it easy take your time um, i've been revising a lot so much to learn that is hi again chelsea how are you would you be well i am well thank you how are you you passed you're just addicted to watching me okay has 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 that's awesome you're you're obviously learning so much i will answer questions that come up in the theory test so any questions that you want to know that comes up in a theory test you failed six times today i've got my course that i can pin there for you have a look at the, have a look at this course have a look at this course um i'm going to go through i'm here live so some people um who are on my course already, they want to know exactly what they should be doing, okay, exactly how should, how to go through it. It is all in the course, but I said I would do a live to explain it to them. You've got your second driving lesson tomorrow, enjoy it. Anxiety techniques, they are in my course, actually. Um, you failed, got 23 multiple choice and 13 on hazard, really? You failed for the sixth time today, oh no. Okay, let me, your friends tell you not to go automatic. Um, what's it got to do with your friends, what you drive? My husband has been driving an automatic, he's got a manual license, he's been driving an automatic car since um, since I've known him, and that's 25 years, no more than that. <laughs> so, so you know, it's entirely up to you what you drive, it doesn't matter. It's not, it's not your friend's decision. If you choose to learn and pass your test in an, in an automatic, you can only drive automatic cars. If you choose to learn and pass in a manual, you can drive manual or automatic. Good evening, Siobhan. Um, but um, it's up to you what you drive. It's not up to your friends what you do. Hi, Annie. My name is Annie Maxine. It's Annie. Um, you're driving, driving automatic. Um, my, my son, uh, Lex, he's 25. He's a driving instructor. And he teaches automatic... <laughs> he teaches automatic car. Okay, I've known my husband apparently 27 and a half years. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry, Rocket Ralph. I do remember. I just um, forget the... That date. So I've known my husband 27 and a half years. He'd been driving automatic all that time. It doesn't matter what you learn. I'm going to be in trouble when I go down later, aren't I? Um, good evening, Nyla. How are you? So, but it's better to start off manual. Georgie, what, what, it's up to you. It's up to you. My son's pupils 
Um, most of them have started off in an automatic. Some of them have started in manual and decided to change to automatic. Um, occasionally, occasionally, people will start in an automatic get a bit confident on the road and then move to manual. Um, but most people start in an automatic and finish in an automatic and it's not, it's entirely up to you. Don't let other people influence you, me or anybody else. It's up to you what you're learning. Um, and you know, you'll, you'll be driving around. When you're driving around, it won't matter what you're in, will it? You, Annie, um, so another driving instructor says here, hi Annie, I love auto. That's another driving instructor. I love auto as well. I teach in a manual and I enjoy teaching manual. My husband and my son teach in an auto and they love that as well so oh maxine don't say sorry don't don't make me feel guilty now don't make me feel guilty um i thought it was probably just a, a dry um a spelling error um or, or or word check or something far best start manual and then you can drive either and it gives you options that's your opinion trolley, trolley dolly and that's what i would do for me but we can't choose what other people do for them. It's entirely up to them what they do. But you, you, that's what I would do if it was me for me. I like driving a manual, okay? Um, and it'll all be automatic one of these days anyway, won't it? Okay, let me go through my course um, and how to go th how to go through it, okay? Let me just pin it here if, if, you know, if you don't know about it. So I'll just tell you who I am. I am Annie Winterburn. I'm a driving instructor and I'm in, in, I am an instructor trainer. I'm an audit registered instructor trainer and I'm a theory test expert. Uh, I want to have some sense. Yeah, me too. Me too. Exactly what I want, uh, Georgie. Um, I'm, I'm also a theory test expert. I've created this course that I'm pinning right now to help people pass the theory test. I have won awards for this course, It's uh, for, for creating this course. It's really awesome and it's helped so many people to pass. Now, lots of people who are on my course, this is who I'm on here live for now. This, this is an extra. I know this starts up live by heart now. <laughs> uh, this is an extra um, live lesson this evening. Um, so to go through my course, for some people want to know, want me to go through it and exactly how to how to uh, how to use it. So when you sign up for my course you will get an email straight away. you get an email um, and what you do, if you sign up while I'm live, which is now, you would get a, my theory test course. It's got everything in it that you need. Worksheets, tutorials, fact lists, official DVSA questions, case studies, anxiety techniques, games. I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay, it's got all of those things to help you pass. But what you'll also get is um, bonuses, if you sign up while you're in my live room, you'll get bonuses. You will get, um, don't forget to put questions in the box, guys. I'm here to answer questions tonight as well. Um, you'll also get my, um, you'll also get my, um, my hypnosis course. I've recorded three hypnosis tracks, one for theory test, one for driving test, and one for driving. Okay, you get that for free. You'll also get my hazard perception course um, for free, and you'll get some ebooks. You'll get um, top 10 reasons yeah top 10 reasons for failing your driving test and how to avoid them and you'll get top 20 hardest theory test questions and i've also put in the um know, know your traffic signs and the highway code so all of those things are in the course as well now people want to know how to use the course what should i do first what's going to happen how do i find it once i've paid once you've paid for the course, you will put an email. She's amazing, really helped me. What an awesome comment, thank you. Once you've paid for the course, what you'll get is an email and the email will say, click here to um, to go to your courses, click here to go to your eBooks. What I'm recommending you do is click, yay, Abba Himal, that's awesome. Passed on Monday, thanks to you. Thank you for that comment. Um, so what you'll get is an email, go to the courses, click here to go to my courses and it will take you to the Test Buddy website. My courses are hosted on the Test Buddy website now. Okay, and you need to go to log in. Click on log in. If you don't log in, then it will ask you here to buy the course because it won't know it's you. So you must click on log in, okay? Um, not create an account, log in. And then you'll be taken to your course. This is the course here. And all of these things of, of what's in the course, okay? So let me just pin the course again for you for the people that are asking. So the first thing you need to do is go to the introduction. And the introduction will have a video just introducing the course. Welcome to Theory Test Course. And then 
go to the next section is how to complete the course. And there's, there's an audio to listen to and all of this is how to go through the course. You need to read that or listen to it because it will help you. But I'm going to go through that with you right now. The next section is about the theory test. It will tell you all about the theory test, okay? So all about the theory test, what's expected, what you need to do, how can you pass? How can you apply for a provisional license? How can you book your theory test is right here. And then go to the first topic. There are 14 theory test topics. There are, I'll read them to you, shall I? Uh, do you know them? Let me know if you know any of them. It's a nice website, isn't it? Yay, Emily, you just passed, that's awesome news. There's accidents, alertness, attitude. Do you know any? Uh, documents, hazard awareness, motorway rules, other types of vehicles. Road and traffic signs, rules of the road, safety margin, safety and your vehicle, vehicle motorcycle handling, vehicle motorcycle loading, vulnerable road users. Okay, is the test the website is test buddy, test buddy. All of those topics have the same um, things in them. So let me show you the first topic accidents and I'll show you what every single topic has in, in it. Let me get an enthusiast let me move let me move my stool. Okay so first of all at the top it says download the accidents worksheet. You can download it and fill it in if you want to. It will look something like this. This is not the accidents one, but something like this. Questions and a box is to put your answers in. Do that if you want to. It's entirely up to you. And fill it in while you're watching the tutorials. On, this, on the accidents section, there's a tutorial on CPR. Dr. ABC. Motor accidents. Accidents and the law driving through tunnels and level crossings. Okay, all of those are in section, the first section of accidents. And then you can download a fact list if you want to. It looks something like this, a list of all the facts you need to know for that topic. Let me pin the course again. I love my course. Okay, and but you don't want to um, download the facts list. You can listen to the facts. List. You can listen to the facts here. You should only remove a motorcyclist's helmet if necessary. Removing a motorcyclist's helmet could make injuries worse. Okay, so that's a list of all the facts that you need to know for the topic that you're doing. And then you've got a section here called All Questions. Accidents, All Questions. And what that is, is all of the official DVSA questions for that topic. And in the accidents section, the DVSA provide me with all the questions. They provide me with, yeah, it is 48 practice questions. Okay, so just click on the questions. When you've done the questions, you get a blue um, a blue spot. If you get the questions wrong, you get a red spot. What you need to do is keep going through all the questions until you get a, a blue spot for all of them. Let's have a look at question number 10. Question number 10 says, you're going through a long tunnel. Here's the question here. You can listen to it if you want to. You can listen to the questions and the answers. You're going through a long tunnel. What will warn you of congestion or an incident ahead? Does anybody know the answer to that question? Because what I want you to do is read the question or listen to the question and then close your eyes and think about what you think the answer might be before you look at the answers. You're driving through a long tunnel, you're going through a long tunnel, what will warn you of congestion or an incident ahead? You know the answer theory test explained, well come up with the answer then, what will warn you? Let everybody know, what, does anybody else know other than the other driving instructor? Go on Siobhan, you can say it as well. What will warn you? Anonymous answer, give me the answer if you can. If, you can, if anybody can put the answer in, let me give you the four options. What will warn you of congestion or an incident ahead? Is it hazard warning lights, lines, sorry, A, hazard warning lines, B, other drivers flashing their lights, C, variable message signs, or D, areas with hatch markings, okay? Which, what will warn you of um, an, a congestion or an incident ahead? Is A, B, C, a, B, C or D. Great answers coming in, guys. Well done. OK, so next thing you need to do 
is look at the hint. See, so see, it says hint there. Look at the hint and either read it or listen to it. Follow the instructions given by the signs or by tunnel officials. In congested tunnels, a minor incident can soon turn into a major one with serious or even fatal results. So that is the hint. Doesn't really give you much about the answer, does it, in that one? So that's the hint. And the answer there is, it's, put the answer in variable message signs and then check the answer. And you can see it's come up like a bluey green colour saying we got that one correct. Did you get that one correct, guys? Give me a yes if you got that one correct. And I'll go on to the next question. You got it? Did you get it correct, Pancholia? You did. Next question. Oh, you must answer this question. I have answered the question. Okay, let's have a look at another question somewhere, shall we? Question number 22. Okay, you arrive at an incident, a pedestrian is bleeding heavily from a leg wound. The leg isn't broken and there's nothing in the wound. How could you help? Now, what I want to show you now is what happens when you get a question wrong. So, first of all, make sure you read or listen to the hints. Remember, when you're going through these questions, you're learning. So, you've looked at the worksheet, you have listened, watched the video tutorials, you've read or listened to a fact list and then you're going through all of the questions. Going through all of the, all of the questions is still learning, you're not testing yourself. So go through each question and read or listen to the hint and if you, the answer there is that either dab the wound to stop bleeding, keep the casualties leg flat on the ground, Give them a warm drink or apply firm pressure over the wound. Because anybody know the answer to that is A, B, C or D? Does anybody know? Yeah, good, great. Yay, Emor, I can't say that name, but fantastic. Yeah, apply firm pressure. Let me just say, I if I put the wrong answer, give them a drink. That's the wrong answer. And then check that. It will tell me, it's got a red bar around it saying that is wrong and it tells you what the right answer is. So you need to go over every single question in the topic like that, listening to or reading the hints and make sure you've got all of them right. And when you've done that, and then you're going to go onto the accident mock test. See, there's a mock test Oh, and that's not come up yet. Let's see. Yeah, an accidents mock test. An accidents mock test is 10 questions all about accidents. You don't, you make sure you get 10 out of 10. Make sure you get 10 out of 10 before you go on to the next section. Okay, when you've got 10 out of 10, then you can go on to the alertness section. And the alertness section, let me just give it, the alertness section is exactly the same. There's a worksheet to fill in if you want to. There's video tutorials, all of these video tutorials to help you to learn. There's a fact list, there's a fact audio to listen to. There's all of the official questions in the topic and then there's a mock test. Do that, get 10 out of 10 for your mock test and go through every single topic in the same way. That's how you do it, okay? And then when you've done the, when you've done all the topics, there's a section on multiple choice techniques. That is how to answer any question super, super easily. There is everything in this course that you could possibly need. Multiple choice techniques. You can listen to me talking about it, then you can watch two videos all about how to answer questions super easily. When you've done that, you can have a look, a look at the case studies. These are the official DVSA, Laurie Dima. These are the official, Hales. These are the official DVSA um, practice case studies about how to do case studies. That's my video I'll put in there. And then you've got all of these official case studies to practice. And when you've done those, you can have a look at the mock test. Don't do mock tests. This is my advice. Don't do mock tests until you've done all that work. You need to do the work first and then you go on to the mock test. I have specially created 16 mock tests to help you 
to pass your theory test. These 16 mock tests cover every single official DVSA theory test practice question. I don't give, I don't have a computer generated thing work by, I'll just give you hundreds of mock tests and you don't know which questions you've answered and which ones you haven't. I make sure you know that you've answered every single question in these six, because that's showing, in these 16 mock tests there for you. Okay, you're on a mock test now, are you? You've done all the work, Pancholia, that's awesome. When you've had a go at the 16 mock test, I've got a section on what happens, what is it? What happens on test day. Go through that. When you've got an anxious person, if you learn first, revise, mock after, exactly, exactly. Theory test explained. This is, I'll talk about this person in a minute because it's an awesome instructor that can help you even more. Okay, but you need to do the work first and, and I make the work easy for you. I make it easy. I give you tutorials and explanations and lessons to make learning super, super easy. Um, join my lives if you don't do that already and you'll see how I make learning easy. Annie Winterburn making theory easy is what I do. There's a section for you, for anybody who's anxious on how to get rid of test anxiety. Okay. And there's all of this on how to get rid of anxiety. You can listen to it. You can watch videos on it and you can read as well. So I, I am a therapist and a, and a master practitioner of hypnosis. And I have put techniques in this course to help you to, um, to get rid of anxiety, not only get rid of anxiety, but to feel confident as well. So that is in this course as well. Um, what else I've got in there? Finishing the course. So a section on finishing the course, and this is basically how do you know that you're ready to take your test? How do you know you're ready to take your test? Um, so it's all here, all here. You can watch a video on how you know your test ready. And then what else, have we, what else have I got? Something extra I've got in here is games for you. Games, because games help make learning fun. Children, young children will learn to read and they'll learn to add up and they'll learn to, um, what else could they learn to do? You tell me what children, by playing games. They don't think, well, I'm going to do this now and it will help me to learn. They play a game and they are just learning. Hey, princess, how are you? So I've got a game called Which Sign Means. Signs is the biggest theory test topic that is. I'm going through how to do my course. So anybody that's signed up for my course, this live is to let you know how to go through it. So a game called Which Sign Means and there's a game called What Happens Next, okay? Another game called What Happens Next. So my course, I did what I didn't include, I did, I missed, I think, I missed it, there is hazard perception techniques, okay? How to gas pass your hazard perception test, okay? What is the hazard perception test and techniques to help you to pass your hazard perception test? That is what's in there. So go through that and make sure you're passing, you're answering, um, you're, you're scoring at three, four or five on your hazard perception clips. Some people will say to me that um, I'm doing really badly because I'm not scoring five each time. Well, five, if you think about it, five is top marks. Five is 100%. Don't expect that. If you're scoring threes, fours and fives, you will pass your hazard perception test. So that's what's in the course. If you feel you need even more help than that, what I could, if you screenshot right now, while I'm smiling guys, screenshot right now. If you want a one-to-one, -one, and you better get in there soon because this guy's getting busy, okay? If you want a one-to-one, -one, what you'll get is my course, which I'm pinning right now. You get my course, you'll get all the bonuses. I'll talk to you about the bonuses again in a minute. You get the course by bonuses and a one-to-one -one with this awesome instructor. He's a grade A driving instructor. He's an audit registered trainer. He's a theory test expert who's been de delivering one-to-one -one theory lessons for years. Lots of people um, from my lives have already started having one-to-ones and there's people on here already who are having one-to-ones. So you need to get in fairly soon if you want that. So screenshot now.
Awesome. So if you want a one-to-one, -one, the, the name, his name is Chris Benstead and he will sort that out for you. I don't do one-to-ones, but what you get is my, uh, my course and my uh, bonuses. So any questions, I will put this live onto my YouTube channel. Yes, I will do that. If I get a chance, I'll do it this evening. Do I do ADI courses? I can help you with ADI courses. Yes, absolutely. Um, so please DM me. I've got a few people to respond to from today already. So please DM me. This course, as I've said, it's got worksheets. I've just shown you them, haven't I? It's got worksheets. It's got tutor uh, tutorials, fact lists, all the official DVSA questions mock tests, case studies, anxiety techniques, games. It's got everything you need and has helped over 5,000 people to pass their tests so far. This is a comment from somebody who did my course, completed my course um, recently, um, last week, and went to um, take take their test on Friday. I've just finished my second attempt at a theory test and I passed 49 out of 50. Thanks to you and your course, and your lives and your commitment to helping as many people pass as possible. Definitely couldn't have done it without you. I felt so prepared going to the test this morning that my usual pre-test anxiety was practically non-existent. That's what you'll get when you go through the course, when you go through it step by step like I've shown you and when you go through the anxiety techniques if you need them. So, so thanks for all, thanks so much for all that you do, Ames. Okay, so isn't that an awesome comment to receive? And let me go through the prices for you. The original price of everything I'm offering is $69.95. That's not what I'm charging while you are in my live room. And I'm only here for a few more minutes. It's just a very short live to go through uh, my course, how to go through my course for people that are struggling. You're only going to pay £34.99, the price of one single one hour driving lesson. And you're going to get these things absolutely free. Hypnosis course has a perception course, so two extra courses. Top 10 reasons for failing your driving test, top 20 hardest theory test questions. Know your traffic signs and the highway codes are all in there. The bonuses, um, these are the bonuses that you get when you sign up for my course. That's £35 worth of bonuses. You will see and hear how you'll pass as soon as you start to buy. Pancholia says, please buy this course. This course has helped me so much. Awesome comment. Thank you so much, Pancholia, for that, for that comment. I want people to not only sign up for the course, but I want people to go through it properly. Sometimes, who does this? Um, and I know most people do. Um, who buys an app and then goes straight to the mock test and takes a mock test to see how good they are already? Who does that? Who's ever done that? You buy it, you buy an app and you go straight to do some mock tests to see how good you are. Not me anymore, says Pancholia. Pancholia knows better, but Sophie says yes. Nooks, Mook says yes. It's man says yes. Oh, so yeah, Siobhan, you did that. So many people do that. Um, and because that's what people do, that's what people talk about, that's what your friends talk about, that's what your colleagues talk about, do a mock test, that's what you hear, do a mock test, do a mock test. Why would you do a mock test when you haven't done the work? Why would you do a mock test when you haven't done the work? You are guessing at the answers, it's multiple choice, you get a question, you get four possible answers, so you're guessing at the answers. And if you get them right, you think, oh, yeah, I got that one, that one right. But when the question is asked in a slightly different way, you won't get it right or you may not get it right, I should say, because you don't actually understand the question. You don't understand it. You just know how to get it right when it's written like that. I want you to give you ways of remembering forever. You need to know for your theory test, you need to know for your driving test, you need to know the rules of the road and you need to know them when you've passed your test. So that's why I want you to go through the course step by step and you will be like Amy said, she found it easy. You'll go through the easy, go through the motorway reflective lights. I think you mean, please, can you go through the motorway reflective lights? I'm sure that's what you mean. Um, um, so I'm doing that tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. I will be live and I'll be showing my traffic light technique. I use my traffic lights 
okay and my traffic lights technique will help you to learn the colors of the motorway studs really really easily i'll be going through lines made easy and i'll be going through my three click technique to help you score well for your um for your hazard perception test um siobhan says my traffic light technique is the best technique out of all of them i i um i am inclined to agree with you siobhan i love it so the course will help you to see and hear how to pass the course will help you to know that you're going to feel confident to pass where are the purse today oh i'll go through my purse in a second shall i um if you want to one to one the link is here testbuddy.app forward slash one to one if you, my course is not going to be quite enough because you don't understand how words are written because you have a learning difficulty, then please consider a one-to-one. -one. Go to Good Evening Cabal, go to testbuddy.app forward slash one-to-one and you're guaranteed to have an awesome lesson plus my awesome course plus my awesome bonuses. But this lesson, with Becky Boo, hello, this course will really, really help you. So I want to answer any questions. Tell us about the practical test. What do you want to know about the practical test? The practical test, you um, you will have to answer. Uh, you have an eyesight test. Uh, I'll go through it very quickly in a, in, a, in a minute or so. You have an eyesight test. You will be asked a, um, a tell me question. They'll say, tell me how to or tell me how you would. So you answer that question. And then they'll say, do you want me to tell you what's going to happen on this test? And you say, yes, please. It's a good idea. Just settles your nerves, gives you a chance, a chance to listen to the examiner um, and then the examiner will say drive on when you're ready that's when the test gets easy because all you're doing then is driving it starts to get easy once you start driving um, you'll be driving on different types of roads the examiner will ask you to pull up and move off a few times throughout the test they're checking if you can um, choose a safe legal convenient place to pull up on the left can you do that safely can you move off again safely you'll be asked to do one maneuver you might be asked to do an emergency stop exercise they will tell you they'll give you a good um, uh, um they'll tell you beforehand they won't just say stop they'll get you to pull up and say right along this road i'm going to ask you to perform an emergency stop um put questions into the question box and I won't miss them. Okay, question mark at the bottom of the screen. Um, and what else will they do? Um, help me guys, help me, instructors on here, help me. What else is that? Oh, you'll be asked to um, do a hill start. They'll stop you on a hill at some point and say, move off again. Um, they will stop you close to another car. Then say, drive off again. All the stuff you've been doing in your lessons, it's super easy. It really is. If you've been having driving lessons and your instructor says you are test ready and you're with a good instructor that you trust, then all you need to do is drive as you normally do. You'll drive back to the test centre. You will pull up. Um, pull up. You will put your parking brake on, turn the engine off and then relax. Please lots of stopping and moving off for no reason that's right lots of move stopping and moving off um yeah that's what they'll do they want to see if you can choose safe places they want to see if you can move off again safely don't rush to move off what should you do before you move away guys before you, every single time what should you do before you move away from the side of the road. Can anybody tell me what's that check that you need to make? Help other people on here who are not as advanced as you. How long is it roughly the test? About 37 minutes, 40 minutes. You should check your mirrors, but the Cull XOX absolutely is your blind spot. So you're going to check from your left door mirror, um, ahead, uh, your middle mirror, right door mirror, and your right blind spot. If you're moving away from the left, it'll be your right blind spot every single time before you move away to make sure you move away safely. You will signal if anybody's around to benefit. If nobody, nobody is around to benefit from a signal, you don't need to do one. That's your test. It's simple, all round observations, yeah. You don't need to check your left blind spot unless it's necessary. Why would it be necessary? because you can hear some people um, to the left of you, um, because there's a park, a playground to the left of you, something like that. I love your videos. I passed my driving test. Yes. Yay, Becky, that's awesome. Thank you uh, for letting me know. That's brilliant news. OK, so stopping distances, somebody's asked me. OK. Turn oh, oh. to the jungle. 
put my place my video by mistake. Okay, so stopping distances. When in normal dry conditions, you leave a two second gap between you and the car in front. If you leave a two second gap and the car in front of you brakes heavily, you won't go into the, you won't go into the back of them. As, as long as you're reacting quickly and your tires and your brakes are working well. So that's normal dry conditions, a two second gap. If it's raining, how much is it? If it's raining, how much is that gap? Have a look at my course. You failed. I'm sorry to hear that. Have a look at my course. If you go through it, you won't fail again. Okay. So it's two seconds in normal dry conditions. Pancholia, yep. In, in wet roads, it's four seconds. And wet roads is doubled to four seconds if it's wet roads. Yes, if it's raining. And what about if it's, it's icy? If it's icy, what is that? What's that two second increased to if it's icy? Yeah, it's increased to 10 times the distance. Do it like that, 10 times the distance, and that is 20 seconds. 10 times two is 20 seconds, okay? Say that. Say it out loud, guys, because people get it wrong because they misunderstand it. So it's 10 times the distance, which is 20 seconds, if it's icy weather, okay? So say it out loud and put the letter D for done to help yourself, two seconds, four seconds, and then 10 times the distance, which is 20 seconds. Say that out loud and put D for done and you've helped yourself remember it forever. What does two seconds mean? Shall I explain what two seconds mean? Okay, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Got no props with me, what can I use? Okay, so here's the car. Here's a car driving along, okay? And you see, say it out loud, guys. Say it out loud, says Eldon, absolutely. So you see, you, you're in this car driving along um, and um, the, you can see a car in front of you and it's driving past a lamp post. That lamp post isn't moving. The car in front of you is driving past something that isn't moving. So as it passes that thing that isn't moving and you're driving along, you say to yourself, only a fool breaks the two second rule. If you just get to that lamppost as you finish saying it, you are two seconds behind that car. If you've finished saying it and you've gone past the lamppost, you're too close. If you've not yet got to the lamppost, then you're more than two seconds, which is better, isn't it? Be more than two seconds will be better. It's all in this course with diagrams and pictures and images to help you. That's the two second rule. So say to yourself, only a fool breaks the two second rule. Practice it while you're out walking. So watch one car, <laughs> watch one car. Stop putting me off. That's one car, um, right, blah, 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 putting me off. So watch a car go past a lamppost and then watch the car behind it saying only a fool breaks the two second rule and see if that car, the second car has got to the same lamppost as you finish saying it. Okay, does that make sense? I hope it does make sense. It's all in my course. Annie, do you have? Do I have what? And let me see the question box. Is it possible to do mock practical tests? I always do a mock practical test with my learner drivers. So you need to ask your instructor. Some instructors do, some instructors don't, but I always do. I start doing mock tests very early on, actually. Every few lessons, we'll do a mock test. The first one might be just two or three minutes. I'm going to just test you on moving away and stopping. And then the next one might be on left and right turns for six minutes or so. So I always do mock tests as we go along. And then a few weeks before the test, I will do full mock tests. Um, so yeah, so ask your instructor, will you be putting this live on your YouTube? Yes, I will. How long did it take you to pass? How long did it take me to pass what? I don't, what, my driving test, my instructor test. Um, so my driving test, it was a long, long, long time ago. Very, very, very different to what you have to do. My dad taught me to drive. I had one driving lesson, went to take my test and passed. But I, I had my own car. I was driving around everywhere, not on my own with my dad set in the car, but I did hundreds of hours of driving. Okay, so it's easy, easy for me. Um, what we have to ask my instructor. You don't have to ask your instructor. Ask, if you want to do a mock test, ask your driving instructor. Okay. Um, so yeah, it is possible to do them. I always do them. How many hours do I need to practice my theory before I do it? Esme, it's going to take everybody different lengths of time to go through it. 
so I can't give you a number of hours. All I can say to you is go all the way through it. You need to do the learning before you practice questions. A lot of people just buy an app and practice questions. You can learn First of all, four to six weeks Pancholi is, is awesome. That's that's I mean weeks, not in time, but yeah, that's 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 exactly what I was going to say. Um some people take a, a couple of weeks. Um but yeah, do the learning first. How are you going to do the learning? Either by going through my course or by having a one-to-one. -one. You can have a one-to-one, -one. or by reading the theory books. Okay, screenshot right now or by reading the theory books. Do the learning first, then practice every single question. Make sure you got them all right and then do mock tests. Make sure you pass at least five mock tests, one after the other. So five mock tests consecutively, okay? So not, doesn't that doesn't mean pass one, fail one, pass two, fail one, pass one, fail two. It means pass one, pass one, pass one, pass one, pass one, okay, with a good score. Only a fool would break the two second rule, wouldn't they, Mox? Absolutely. Only a fool would break the rules. That's what I do if, um, if I'm doing the force, if it's, if it's raining and it's going to be a four second gap, you say it twice. I say only a fool breaks the two second rule and you are a fool if you break the rule. Um, so yeah, um, so I like that, Mox. Test done without you test them without you sitting. Oh, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. I'm really sorry. I'm not very with it sometimes. I don't know what you, I don't know what you mean by that comment. Okay, any more questions? I'm going to go in a second. Let me just pin my course um, one more time. You've got on MX. It wasn't a lesson. This, this was an extra life to go through my course and um, tell people, people have been asking me, what should I do first? What should I do next? And all I say is go through it step by step. It's super easy if you do that. This is my course here. This is what you get. And all you want to do is, is go on to, sorry, go into the introduction, then go on to how to pass the course about the theory test, and then go on to the accident section. Um, do everything in the accident section. Make sure you get all of the answers right. There's no point. People do say to me, oh, but I've done all of the course. I said, yes, but there's so many questions you got wrong. Don't move on to the next section until you're getting that answer correct. You need to get the answer and you need to pass the mini mock test. There's a mock test for every topic. Is there anyone want to do together and ask questions to each other, road signs, other things? So speaks, uh, does anybody want to get together um, with our med boss to get together and ask each other questions and do road signs and other things? Just respond to our med boss there, um, 075. Okay, so just respond to that person and get together. And what a fantastic idea. When you pass 100%, well, Pancholia, yeah, a lot of people do, a lot of people do. If you do it correctly, don't think I oh if you if you go through all the questions and think well I got I got like most of them right I move to the next section and then yeah I got most of them right again move to the next section you're continually picking up things that you don't know that you're not sure about so please get all of the questions right and get ten out of ten in the mini mock tests before you go through uh, before you go on to the next section okay um, I hope that's helped you. Let us, I'm going to go now, do do you drive manual or automatic? Well, I drive both, but I drive manual. I teach in a month. I teach in a manual car. You know, I'm boring only doing myself and I think I'm missing something. Ahmed boss. Yeah, is there, has somebody got in touch with you there, Ahmed? Have you screenshotted their name or whatever? Because um, that's a really, really great idea to get together and do some revision. That's why I, I come on live for you. So the price of my course, I'll pin it right here for you if you haven't signed up. Like I say, this live was particularly particularly for people that have signed up. But if you haven't, then my course is... Um, it's worth $69.95. While I'm live for the next two minutes, I'm selling it for $34.99, the price of one single one hour driving lesson. And you get all of these bonuses when you sign up while I'm live. Hypnosis course, hazard perception course, top 10 reasons for failing your driving test and how to annoy, avoid them. Top 20 hardest theory test questions, know your traffic signs and the highway code. 
So guys, my name is Annie Winterburn and I come on here, I come on live um, at least five, six, seven times a week to, to make, I, I am making theory easy for you. Making theory easy is what I do. I do it with this course and I do it in my live videos, my live lessons, sorry, and in my YouTube videos. My YouTube account is Theory Test Practice Online. So go to that if you want it. This video here that I've done will be put into my YouTube channel. Any more questions? So if you can see theory test explained underscore one two one on here, if you want to get in touch with Chris and ask him about his lives, then that would be awesome because he is a really great instructor. Okay. Oh, somebody asked me about my purrs. Let me show you. Are you still on? My purrs are here. My purrs are here. Okay, so what's that about? What's that about? I'll tell you, I'll give you a quick sneaky preview of one of my lessons. So when you are looking at a theory, Ralph is better, Aaron, totally better, being a nuisance again. When you look at a question and you look at the four possible answers, look for purrs. If you find a purr, it will make you happy. Look at my purr there, it's really smiling. If you find a purr, it will make you happy. What do I mean by that? Well, if you see a question and the four answers are, um, move into a lower gear, slow down, change lane, move into a higher gear. Which are the two pairs there? A, B, C or D? There's two of them are pairs. Move into a higher gear, slow down, change lane, move into a lower gear. Can anybody see the pairs? Can, did anybody hear the pairs there? Did anybody hear? This could be a yes if you heard the pairs. Yeah, absolutely underwater. Two of them were to do with gears so that you can get rid of the other two answers. You now, yeah, Ezzy, now you know that there's going to be an, it's going to be a gear answer. You've got, you found your pair. Does that make sense? You found your pair. <laughs> and I've got to, um, I've got to say that theory test explained, give me that one, gave me that one. Um, so that's why I went out and bought some pairs for you guys. So it's all going to be included in Friday's lesson, I think. Oh no, Monday's lesson, I talked about finding pairs, but maybe I'll go through it again at the weekend for you, okay? So that is my, um, that is my live for tonight, talking about my course. Please let me know if you have any questions and please, Join me on to tomorrow where I, again, will be making theory easy for you. See you again tomorrow at six. What time? What time am I tomorrow? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. I forgot. I forgot. Um, I just asked Siobhan. She knows all. She knows everything I'm up to. <laughs> um, 6 p.m. tomorrow, isn't it, Siobhan? Yeah. Thank you for your time. What time are my 6 p.m. tomorrow? Uh, bye, everyone. Bye, Rocket Ralph. Siobhan, thank you so much. Uh, Rocket Ralph, thank you so much. Um, theory test explained. Thank you for joining me again. Thanks, guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Yeah, 6 p.m. Thank you. <laughs>